down in the cellar. Okay, folks. Um, getting this ready to take over to my house f to pack it up for Marianne's husband. It has the switch in it. I took some snapshots of it and everything. It has the under dash mount to mount the switch. It fits cars in the late 40s and early 50s. I looked at the instructions. I think it's a 6 volt fan, so I wouldn't try to run that on 12 volts. Okay, now, in here, there's a whole bunch of stuff up in here that I went through. What I found up there, first of all, I remember telling you about my 71 Ford Econoline E150 that was customized. And these were made for the 71 Ford van. I did these on the router out of pine. These were in the corner of the van where my 8-inch woofers were. They were in like that, and they had um, red velvet grill cloth. They were actually red velvet fabric that I used for grill cloth. And these were extra ones that I built because I didn't like the way they came out. So uh, these never got anywhere, but I'm just bringing them down. Uh, up there, I also found a little fuse. Uh, you put it on the wall, it holds a, a little packages of little fuse, the brand little fuse. Clock out of, I'm not sure what that came out of whether it was a 63 Galaxy or whatever. Here's the whole voltage regulator, one of many. On my 63 Ford Galaxy, it always used to overcharge and you have to constantly replace the voltage regulator. Uh, and this is an extra lens I got at the junkyard for a 63 Ford Galaxy. <laughs> and I got another one up in the attic. Here's one of these, uh, it's brand new. One of these sterno heaters. And used to go camping occasionally, and I used to take that with me. Here's some auto radios. I don't know too much about them, but some of them come out of cars that I had. Some of them I got uh, given to me. Some of them I uh, got for service and never bothered with them. I have no idea. These are down here. Anybody wants them? I'm not shipping any of this petty stuff. I'm not shipping that, so don't ask about that. Uh, Dan Kublu lights and uh, Bill Traver, uh, Dan's friend. I got the blowtorch in here and the air horns. You wanted me to? Uh, uh, you wanted them? You're coming down to get them, so they're right here. I'm holding them for you. So found another hydraulic jack in the other room in the cellar here. Uh, not as good condition as the one that I had here, but it does work, as far as I know. So, so I got this pretty, well, the stuff taken out of here that I want. Anybody wants this stuff, and they are over here, they can have it. But I want to give you an update on this. Uh, as I've been busy uh, with my furnace and stuff, problems with that, so I haven't had a chance to do anything. Now I'm going up in the attic and get that uh, meter for Steve. Once that I'll mail to him, it's very, very small and lightweight. Uh, this drill here, I'll deal with that at another time. I'm not going to be packing that up today. Um, it's got to weigh at least 10 pounds, but anyways, i got to find a box big enough for it. It will not fit in a priority box because it's too big. And the chuck is jammed. So, okay. Uh, I found another another one of these desk vices, uh, bench vices. So i got two of these. All right, let's go up in the attic and see what uh, I can... I'm going to go get that meter and uh, bring it home and box it up, as well as bringing this with me, so I can get this into another box 
pack this up good in here in this box and then put this whole thing into another another box. The heater hose that came with this I threw out. It's hard and brittle. You don't want it. Okay, I'm up in the shop. This is the meter I want to send to Steve. And, uh, oh, this says plus and negative. I'm supposed to read AC volts, but uh, I just noticed a plus and a negative here. So I'm not sure about this one, but it does say AC volts on it. And I, ha I had another one like this on a panel. I have no idea where it is. And it does work on 120 volts. So uh, I'm going to send that to you. I don't know what else to send you. There's a probe here, but it just seems to be a, has a flat end on it. I have no idea. It goes into a meter. It looks like a, 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 a TPDC5 is best I can read that. So maybe I'll just throw that in there with the meter. It's something small I can... Sh ship you so uh i'm just looking around here and it's cold up here it's a cold day today so i'm not going to be staying here too long and uh the reason i'm making this video is just to give you another look around here nothing's really changed uh i think either bill or cool blue lights one of these fellas was going to pick these up I'm not sure now. And like I say, there's empty boxes, but there are boxes with tubes in it. But I don't, a lot of empty ones too. Well, yeah, that's got a tube in it. That's got a tube in it. 12BH7, new old stock, Channel Master. 6LJ8, probably new old stock. 6AU6 channel master new old stock but there's a lot of there's a lot of empty boxes too so this is a crap shoot on this one and there's, I can see a row of tubes down there too and these are probably not empty boxes down there uh, well Dan or Bill I'm not sure one of you fellows I think said that you were interested in it or it might even been Robert from um farm radio i i'm having a hard time keeping track of people now and that's one of the reasons why i didn't like to ship things i don't mind if somebody comes up here and just says i'll take this this and this but uh i gotta remember to ship this to so and so and ship that to so and so oh yeah and the fellow that wants to drill i gotta ship this this is gonna be awkward to ship i don't have any boxes and that's the problem so it's going to be a while before I get this stuff packed up. The drill, I don't know the fellow's name offhand, but the drill busted Chuck. Um, that fellow wants that and this. But they, they're going to be two separate boxes. One for this and one for that drill. So I assume he wants the parts. I have no problem with that. All right, so... A lot of mixed up in here, a little of everything. Even tubes that I'm not sure of. There's a, even a watch without a glass on it. Uh, projection lens from a, a brownie eight millimeter movie projector. 
Yeah, a little of everything. All right, so it's going to be a while for me to get the boxes, uh, get boxes for these things. So it's going to be a while. I got to hunt boxes down. When I was working, I used to get all kinds of boxes. And I had no problem, but now I don't have access to boxes, and the market's closed down near me, so I can't get boxes there anymore. And uh, that's a, you know it's going to be difficult, but. That's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I don't like shipping things, but we'll get a box for you. It's just going to be a little while. Oh my god, I feel so good.